Hello, my name is Alexander Gorlich. In the previous video, we have installed Hairpoint workflow extensions and its client components that include set of shapes for Microsoft Visio and library for Visual Studio. Now, let's try to create a simple workflow in Visio that is going to check all the new items in calendar and if a file was attached to the item, send it back by email to the user and his manager with a notification that storing file attachments in calendar entries from some certain reasons is prohibited. Then remove the attachment from the entry in calendar. That is our scenario. Our project is created using the SharePoint workflow template. Our workflow will be running each time when a new item is added to the calendar and as a result, receiving this item as parameter. Please take into account the Hairpoint workflow extensions library of form shapes is open. The algorithm is as follows. We can verify the attachment property of the current item which will return true or false at the output. However, we'll utilize the get list item attachments activity that returns array with um, attachments names. Uh, by the way, this activity can also return links of attachments and attachment sizes. For now, we'll get a number of the items in output array using the get array items count. If it is greater than zero, it means that item contains attachments. Then with get users manager for active directory action, we will get the users manager and after that send email to the user with a copy to his manager containing all attachments using send email with list items attachments. Now we're about to remove all attached elements from the list using the remove attachments, which in summary will complete the workflow. So we're going to do some adjustments. Uh, then we will uh, double check the algorithm. We will get the list of the current items attachments to array. Get the items count. If it is greater than zero, we'll get the manager and send the message to the user with a message copy to the manager. After that, all attachments of the current item are being removed. Um, if we do not have attachments, then we will terminate the workflow. All right, the workflow is ready. Now we're going to export the workflow to SharePoint Designer in order to link the workflow to the list and configure it there. Essentially, um, this simple workflow could be created directly in SharePoint Designer without having need of using Visio. However, in case of big and complicated algorithms with Visio, it is quite easier to understand how the workflow is actually working. We are linking our workflows to the calendar, so it will be required to configure it. Get names of attachments. Um, well, this activity receives the element address as parameter. Therefore, we are selecting the property with his address and the result will be stored into the array variable. Uh, we're getting a number of elements in the array and save it into the number of attachments variable. So, um, the condition is if number of attachments is greater than zero, then from Active Directory, we'll get the current user's manager who have created 
and entry in the calendar and save him into the manager variable. Now the message is being sent to the user who have created an entry to uh, his manager. with subject attachments are not allowed oh sorry and in addition to that attachment of the current element is added to the message now we are removing all attachments of current item this activity also takes address as parameter. We are choosing the current element. Address, all right. Great, the workflow is ready. We are marking our workflow to automate this process whenever a new element is created. All we need to do right now is to publish this workflow on SharePoint. Now, we will open the calendar and add new element. That uh, contains an attachment. All right, it is ready. We are opening our element and what we can see is that it contains the uh, attachment then checking the status of workflow all right it is completed uh if we will navigate uh through that link we can view the workflow history list so let's again open our element you might already notice that there is no attachment in it now we are heading to the mailbox of my manager using Outlook Web Access. Uh, he's identified as test double one user. We can see there a message to Alexander Gorlich with a message copy containing the attachment sent to his manager. Okay, our workflow was complete successfully. Let's look at the Create Toolbar by opening the Visual Studio. We can see there are several projects. Workflow Project 3, created for SharePoint 2010 using the sequential workflow template. Um, when creating or opening a project based on this template, the toolbox tab is appearing with hair point actions which can be used for workflow offering in the same way as standard Microsoft Actions. All right, in this video, we show you the hair point toolbar in Visual Studio, familiarized with workflow creation process in Microsoft Visio, workflow adjustments, and linking to SharePoint lists with SharePoint Designer, and finally, tested our workflow. If you would like to have a step-by-step -step instruction on how to create workflows in SharePoint Designer, Microsoft Visio, or Visual Studio, you can read our manual guide for more detailed information on this topic. I hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.